an array of telescopes, the very large array near Socorro, New Mexico. So that's a familiar human-like scale. And we can put ourselves 100 meters above the ground surrounding the VLA. And there's one of the radio dishes of the VLA. They're each about 25 meters in diameter. So if we now go down by a factor of 10, closer to the ground, so that we're now 10 meters from the ground, you can see little shrubs and bushes growing out of the plains there. And if we zoom in once again by a factor of 10, each step is going to be a factor of 10, we're now about one meter from the ground and we see details of the brush and in fact a little kangaroo rat sitting there. If we now zoom in by another factor of 10, we're at 10 to the minus 1 meters or 10 centimeters from the kangaroo rat and you can see details in its face and you can begin to see the hair. Scaling in by another factor of 10 so that we're 1 centimeter from the kangaroo rat, you can see the individual bits of hair. Now things get really fun. If you go down and zoom yourself in by another factor of 10, you're one millimeter from the kangaroo rat he hair, and you can see some structure in the hair, but we're actually gonna go through a space between the hair into the innards of the kangaroo rat and look at some kidney cells. So zooming in by another factor of 10, we're now at a scale of 10 to the minus four meters, or 0.1 millimeters. That's in a sense the size of the box that we're looking at. And we can see a bunch of kidney cells in the rat. Zooming in by another factor of 10, we're now at 10 to the minus 5 meters, or 10 millionths of a meter, and we can see one kidney cell and its central nucleus. Zooming in by another factor of 10, we are now essentially examining a box that's only one millionth of a meter on a side. That's like 10,000 angstroms. In the case of light, this would be a near-infrared wavelength, somewhat longer than visible light. And you can see now the nucleus of a single kidney cell. Nuclei of cells are roughly a millionth of a meter or 10,000 angstroms in diameter. Now we'll zoom in by another factor of 10, and we're going to look at the chromatin, the complex of DNA and protein found inside the nuclei of cells. So here we are looking at a scale of 10 to the minus 7 meters, or 100 nanometers, or 1,000 angstroms, which is like the wavelength of ultraviolet light, and we're seeing the chromatin of the cell, these clusters of, of DNA and proteins. And if we zoom in even further, to a scale of 10 to the minus 8 meters, or 10 nanometers, or 100 angstroms, we can see a single strand of DNA. Increasing our view by yet another factor of 10 in precision, in a sense, in, in closeness to the object that we're looking at. We're now looking at a box that's a billionth of a meter in size, one nanometer, and there you can see the double helix structure of the DNA, the sort of the beads on a string structure with, with um, parallel bars between them. Now we're going to zoom in by another factor of 10, looking at a scale of 10 to the minus 10 meters, a tenth of a nanometer, about one angstrom, and here you can see the outer electron shell of a single carbon atoms. So atoms are about an angstrom in size. Going in another factor of 10 to 10 to the minus 11 meters, or 10 picometers as they're called, you can see the inner cloud of electrons. And another factor of 10 farther in, one picometer, or 10 to the minus 12 meters, shows the nucleus. But the nucleus on a relative scale is still far away. Relative to its size, it still looks very far away. Scaling in by another factor of 10 to 100 femtometers, or 10 to the minus 13 meters, we can see the nucleus closer. And then another factor of 10 farther in shows a nice view of the nucleus. We are now on a scale of 10 to the minus 14 meters, or 10 femtometers, and we can see the individual protons and neutrons in the nucleus of the carbon atom. Now we're going to go down to 1 femtometer. 
10 to the minus 15 meters, and we zoom in on a single proton. So a proton is about 10 to the minus 15 meters in diameter. And scaling down by another factor of 10 to 10 to the minus 16 meters, or 100 atometers, we are now looking at individual quarks bound together, forming protons. 